Hello to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to Gym 5am Club. As you can see I'm just on a ferry here heading off from Circular Quay. It's been raining all morning and I've been rained off work so what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd just jump a ferry and head across to uh, Watson's Bay and come back again just to do a 5am club and come to you from a different aspect and from a different perspective. As you can see, the Sydney Harbour water is brown because of the uh, non-stop rain over the past three or four days. The harbour water is all brown. It's, uh, I haven't seen this colour for years. But uh, let's uh, continue our, our journey, our 5am club. And uh, it's stopped raining for now, so what we'll do is we'll we'll make the most we'll make the most of this opportunity while we've got available while we've got it available to us, and I'll try and knock off three or four 5 a.m. clubs to click over the, uh, the the total. So the book summary that I'd like to take you through today is entitled "See You at the Top." See you at the top and it's by a famous author named Zig Ziglar who incidentally I remember seeing in person I was invited to a, uh, an Amway um, seminar many years ago it was a, uh, a meeting and I think my cousin Corsa Kathodakis was the one who invited me but I remember at that, uh, at that event Zig Ziglar was the keynote speaker and he was a very interesting and very, very energetic, powerful speaker. And I remember when he finished his talk, he did echo those famous words, I'll see you at the top. So uh, what are we going to learn from this book today? We'll wait and see. Let me just brace myself as this boat takes off. I don't end up in the harbour myself. But uh, what the author said here is that um, the way you see your life will largely determine what you get out of it. Because they are very, very important and the powerful sort of uh, vision to which every one of us. Not only the way you see your life, but it's also the way you see situations. The way you see other people, the way you see yourself, 
how much you want to improve in order to give you an opportunity to, uh, to see, taste, feel and embrace what you're on about. The other thing that the author talks about is the importance of establishing timelines that also take account of the potential obstacles that may get in your way. You need to give yourself time to be able to grow and develop. You need to, need to, need to give yourself a roadmap and you also need to give yourself, um, um, I guess, wiggle room just in case things don't go your way so you can continue to uh, focus on what you need to do to be able to uh, get to where you need to get to. The author talks about the importance of writing down your goals and trying to break them down into some key categories. And he calls the categories the five F's. And the five F's include faith, family, finances, fitness, and fun. And if you can break the, uh, the goals that you have into those sorts of categories, then uh, you've got an opportunity to then uh, work them and work them into magic. And once you build those goals into those different little categories, the author also encourages us to break them into smaller goals and smaller actions um, that we can figure out and work at on a daily and a weekly basis. Because we need constant action. We need constant daily, weekly, yearly action to eat away at what we're doing, to be able to step through it and make small incremental gains in order to achieve the, uh, the bigger picture at some point, some point in time. And the last, uh, the last uh, formal point to come out of this text is the importance to defeat the sinking feeling, the sinking feeling which is also known as bad attitude because uh, Zig Ziglar is all about attitude the importance of having a positive and empowering attitude and to know and to be well aware that we're going to have setbacks that we can't do anything about but also to know that regardless of the setbacks that we have that we can, uh, we can certainly control how we react and how we respond to them. There's a Harvard study that was put out a number of years ago which basically says that 85% of what you achieve is based on your attitude and the other 15% is based on uh, intelligence. So that in itself is very, very powerful to understand and to know and for young children and for young adults to know that your attitude is key to helping you get to where you want to get to and achieve all the things you want to achieve. So uh, we need to understand that uh, unproductive thinking um, sabotages our efforts and makes uh, a lot of the things that we're aiming for um, puts them out of reach. So in order to get the right attitude, one of the, the uh, recommendations that Zig Ziglar gives is that we need to learn gratitude, we need to learn how to be grateful for what we have and to uh, be excited about what we're doing, how we're doing it and where we're going because all of those things will uh, conspire and work together to help us deliver um, the, uh, the momentum that we need in order to get to where we're going. And the final point to come out of this book is that we also need to review our language and to make sure that we are more positive and, uh, in what we say and how we do and to try and energise ourselves with, uh, by hanging around people who, uh, who will help us grow and develop as opposed to those who will drag us down and uh, try and uh, take us under. 
So there you go. That's the end of this book summary. So thank you very much for joining me on Jim's 5am club. Um, and uh, we went through See You at the Top by Zig Ziglar. So let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay committed, stay relevant, stay reasonable, and most importantly, let's take some lessons from this wonderful book today, uh, entitled See You at the Top, and work on attitude and uh, get rid of all those uh, excuses, eliminate losers limp from our lives and make, make sure that we're on track to uh, develop positive relationships with all the people around us because as we said success only comes through positive relationships. If you want to be negative then be negative but don't expect to get positive outcomes out of negative relationships and negative attitude. Anyway, take care and I look forward to coming to you again later on from a different location with a different message, a message of empowerment where we can be the wind beneath our wings, where we can live, learn and pass it on, help us get through the day, get through the week and get through the, uh, the rest of this uh, wet weather. So take it easy, looking forward to speaking to you again and uh, looking forward to uh, Greek Independence Day on Thursday. It's going to be a massive day, and I've got three or four days of uh, events coming up, which I just can't wait to uh, catch up with my friends and family and make the most of this wonderful time of our lives. Yasas, take care. Good luck you from Jim on Jim's 5am Club. And until we chat again, bye for now.